What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we're talking about variables, and we're talking about the append to an array variable in Microsoft Flow. So what is append to an array? Append to an array is a function in Microsoft Flow that allows you to get a an array that's coming in from somewhere, maybe um, an API call to go get a piece of data and bring it back. And then we're going to add something into that array that then you could then use later on. So um, if you are requesting maybe a list of names or something like that, and you want to add in some default names, that's what we can do with this append to array action. So let's take a look at that. I'm in Microsoft Flow here. Uh, this is just a manual trigger flow. And I've got this step here for initialize a variable. Now the variable has a name of list, the type is array, and in here we've got a JSON array with the first name, last name, and email address of um, some contacts. So we're going to append this array. So if I click below it and click add action, uh, then we can go to built in, and we can expand this and go to variables and we go to append to an array variable. So the first thing it asks me for here is a name. Now the name is list, so if you'll notice here in the initialize the variable, unlike other sort of dynamic content that we're used to dealing with the Microsoft flow, the append to array, and when you're working with these appends, it actually looks for the name of the variable itself and not the name of the step like we're used to seeing in Microsoft flow. So we are choosing list, which is the name of this variable up here. The value that we're going to append into it is we're actually going to append in something I've already got in my keyboard buffer, which is just a bit of JSON for um, a Mr. Fred Flintstone. And that's all we need. So let's save and let's test this. So we go to test, we'll choose I'll perform the trigger, choose run flow, See so this flow runs successfully. So we're initializing the variable here. So we've got the list here. We're then appending to the array here. So this is what we are inputting. Now I've got some other actions that I've shown off in other videos, and this can actually show the outputs that we're in. So the content that this is getting in, in is actually the content from up here. Uh, and as you can see, we're adding in Fred Plintstone here. So when we go down to the very bottom, uh, we can see um, the whole list here, and we did some actions to concatenate the names. So we're at Dean Herb, Keith Taylor, and a Fred Flintstone. So there you have it. You can add data into an array using Microsoft Flow. So this might come in handy if you need to always add some default data in, if you need to um, include something at a later time that you then need to work on in a later step in Microsoft Flow before pushing that data into a, another system, so you know SharePoint or CDS, CDS or something like that. So yeah, what do you guys think? Did you like this video? If you did, please like, please share it with your friends. Uh, and have you hit me up on Twitter yet? I'm the, at d 365 Geek. If not, I'd like to connect with you. Uh, details are in my uh, description below as well as on the YouTube page. So if you like this video, uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.